talking about spots <laughs> talking about spots um if you ever needed any indication or any idea or any example as to how freaky yay for me known as Kanye West is this whole affair of him having his absolute cheeks out on the boat um while she's getting a bit of sloppy toppy from the wife should tell you everything you need to know we all thought that Kanye thing saying that he's a freak was a joke but actually having seen the pictures now that have been circulating all over social media we now know that Kanye is a legitimate freak Imagine being Kanye, right? One of the most famous people in the world, even though he's in far-flung Italy somewhere, where most likely they don't have the issue of paparazzi that they have probably in America and whatnot, and maybe even in the UK. You'd imagine if you're yay, you're still going to get papped. You're still going to get people following you around. You're still going to be happening. So to do, so to, so to be that person, go to Italy, thinking you're going to be incognito, and then deciding, hey, wifey, would you mind giving me a bit of sloppy toppy on the boat? whilst the paps are around and other boats are passing you by is some freaky ass shit like he is into some freaky ass shit yeah he is but you know maybe there is something in being on a boat and getting some sloppy toppy from the wife i personally i don't know if, I, if i'm a prude in this regard but i think there should be some level of decorum when it comes to it being your wife you know i think if it's some slosh or some slozer or some fucking streetwear fucking lot lizard somewhere that you meet and you want to finger blast them in the queue as you're about to head into Supreme, fair enough. But I think, you know, doing that publicly with your wife is a little bit mad, especially at his age, especially considering he's got like 500 kids and shit. It's a bit weird, you know, it's a little bit strange. Um, that's the only thing I'd say. But I also give him a bly and I'll say to him, I don't think he was getting sloppy toppy. That's what I'm going to say. I don't think he was getting sloppy toppy. I think maybe he was sitting down and, you know, when you get a bit older, you don't have good spatial awareness. So maybe Ye didn't notice that he's, you know, his fucking trousers were all the way down. You can see his ass cheeks. Maybe he didn't notice that. And his wife was just resting her arms inside his legs. She kind of looks like she's doing something here, right? Looks like she's, she's grabbing the back of her head or the back you know or something else she's maybe looking for a handle to hold on to i'm not too sure but 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 maybe maybe this is very you know this is very uh it's, it's a chill thing that just got just got caught at a bad angle you know sometimes when you catch people at, you know i think there's a meme i saw on twitter the other day of this um of this clip of a guy running down the street and the, i think the um the voiceover said it's all about the angle or something and in one clip the guy's running and it looks like he's running and trying to run into this woman that he wants to steal something from then for another clip it looks like he's going to run after somebody who's further down the road with a suitcase then another clip it looks like for another angle sorry it looks like he's going to steal the person's suitcase then for another angle you can see that he's trying to push the guy out of the way because some bricks are going to fall on his head so it's all about angles sometimes angles can give you a different idea of what's going on so i think this might be one of those things this might be one of those situations where the angle makes it look a bit more risky risque than what it was but considering that yay and bianca sensori have been out around in italy gallivanting around the streets um you know her basically wearing next to nothing and him walking around the streets barefooted i'm not surprised this type of stuff is happening to be fair i just think for me personally if that shit person's your wife i think this sort of freaky shit you do when you're caught in but then once this person's your wife i, I don't know finger blasting your wife somewhere in the cinema or like you know getting sloppy toppy in the car park before your kids come out of school is a bit crazy you know i think if that's someone that you don't you don't really know too well it's all well and good but i think if that's your wife it seems a little bit nuts personally but again i could be wrong you know i could be the one talking out my ass here but thankfully we got some blurred pictures here we got some pictures of kanye bending over giving his wifey a little bit of a kiss there um we continue on we got them again you know she doesn't look because i don't know maybe maybe i watch too many flipping you know adult movies but she doesn't look like she's got that crying you know that you know that you know those um you know those ladies that do those en adult entertainment movies when they got mascara it looks like it's all kind of leaking down their face after they you know after they participate in some of those adult activities she doesn't look disheveled her hair looks in place you know everything else around her mouth looks pretty much where it should be so i don't think anything happened i just think they were you know doing 
you know, crazy because there's a window right there too. So I don't think Ye would have been dumb enough to do that on a boat with a window right here. There's a window on the boat right here that you kind of see everything's happening with. But uh, you know, maybe maybe something was going. On, I don't know. But look at this angle. This angle's hilarious. It's them bending. It's him bending over to talk to her or whatever he's doing. And then there's scores of tourists on the boat behind them taking pictures. <laughs> And the driver of the boat also looking at them. So yeah, he's got to be super freaky because he was, if you believe the story, he was getting soppy toppy from his wife on a boat in a very public canal in front of some random woman who's sitting here. There's a woman there, right? There's a random woman sitting there and in front of the, the flipping boat driver guy. That's a little bit much. And also in front of this whole queue, this whole crowd of people. So either Ye is a super exhibitionist or this is just a real bad angle, right? But I don't think he's into exhibition stuff, personally for me speaking, but I could be wrong. But yeah, um, you know, they were out there having fun, um, having a good time. Are these other pictures going to load up if we see? We can't see the rest of them for some reason. Come on, bro. Where is it going? Yeah, there they are. They were having a good time, gallivanting around town. Um, I love Ye's outfit, actually. I like that he's um, oscillating between having bare feet and also wearing black socks because I guess he's into this whole like minimalist um, not wearing shoes thing. And uh, I like that he's wearing all black every single day with just a blazer and no t-shirt and stuff and these big yoga type pants, whatever he's got on. And obviously putting the t-shirt over his face like a mask. That's pretty cool. Not too sure where this jacket's from. Looks like it could be Balenciaga. Could be could be Diesel, but that looks cool. She looks really good in her looks. I think she she's been styled really well. To be fair, the entire time he's been with her, um, they look really great there. Yay with his fucking you know I, I, <laughs> bum out again. There's the there's the other lady that's been traveling around with them in Italy. I don't really know who she is. Um, again, another picture of them behind on the boat, and then yay again with that sick Jesus piece. That Jesus piece, I'm I'm loving though. I forgot who is by. I think someone posted it on social who this Jesus piece is by, but it's fucking beautiful. It's got a nice um pearl pearly looking necklace. And then I think the Jesus piece is made out of silver and white diamonds and stuff. It looks absolutely incredible. I'm a real big fan of it. But yeah, yeah, and his wife out here in the mean streets of Italy or the main the mean the mean lakes of Italy on a mina boat. Um, getting some soppy toppy enjoying oneself and living the life of luxury as one does you cannot complain about that you cannot complain jesus christos absolute tatters on that isn't it absolute tatters um but yeah and then we've got another picture here of course of them leaving the Balenciaga store in florence um yay's doing yay's definitely pushing this whole no shoes thing which I'm a big fan of because I think I mentioned it before in the pod, there was a time in my life when I did um, adopt this as well as a, as a sort of, um, as a practice, I guess, where I think the reason why is because I was reading this book called Supple Leopard by Kelly Starrett. And the idea behind it was to kind of um, give you good range of motion. So it's about, you know, range of motion exercises, opening up your ankles, opening up your hips, your glutes, and whatever it may be, um, learning how to squat properly. And then the idea behind it was that, you know, the squat was one of those movements that you do the air squat with your heels on the floor and your kind of your knees spread out as wide as possible. That was one movement you could do that would kind of transfer to different type of movements. So it would then make you an efficient runner. It'd make you an efficient jumper. You could press, you could push, pull, whatever all through the basis of just being able to kind of squat properly and there was a bit of the there's a bit of the program on the supple leopard if you read it where i think it kind of advocates for um reclaiming your feet and the idea behind it is that in that case direct book is that when we put our feet in like modern day shoes they're usually elevated so your feet don't get a chance to sort of like calcify and to most importantly have an arch right on the instep and that's something I used to suffer from because I was quite flat-footed before I used to read that book and obviously when I used to run a lot being flat-footed um having no arch and then running like 20 miles a week when I'd finish I'd get these horrible 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 um sharp pains of uh tentonitis I think it's called what's it called uh tentonitis I think it's called tentonitis when you get the, the sharp pain in the bottom of the feet and usually that bottom of the feet pain it comes from like there's like these these tendons in your foot that kind of form like a triangle and basically the practice that he had in the book was to kind of reclaim your feet by not wearing shoes as much as possible <laughs> brandon saying it was gout and it wasn't gout you, you're not, not wearing your shoes as much as possible and the idea behind it was that if you 
walked around with just your feet the tendons in your feet would get a bit stronger because you have to you'd end up gripping loads of different parts of the ground to keep you kind of stable that you also take for advantage you take for granted because you always got your feet your foot in your foot in trainers so long so short they would say hey try and spend as much time as possible out of shoes and then you know so that your feet can get stronger and the idea behind it would be like your toes would open up, you'd get less bunched up because you're not got them in shoes. Um, you know, bunions will clear up and stuff. You'd develop an arch and blah, blah. And I have to be honest, it helped. But I remember this one time I did try in my local area, which is incredibly rough. Um, the ends I live in is not the not the most um, uh, progressive area in the world, right? And I remember popping out to my local off license to get a drink. And I was wearing, you know, what I usually flip and wear, you know, a, a decent trendy streetwear shirt some shorts on or whatnot and then i walked out just with no sh with no shoes and the reaction i got from people looking at me like it's interesting what not wearing shoes does to people's perception of you just not and you know you could wear everything on top like for instance kanye's outfit here could be worth 10 grand this all black outfit it could be worth five grand it could be all designer but just the fact that he's got no shoes on people immediately think you're some sort of like crackhead that you've got some sort of issues that you need some help that you're struggling whatever people immediately think that there's something about showing your feet especially in the city people just don't like it it just comes across a bit weird it doesn't resonate well so i remember just having that feeling of like i would even say it was shame you just felt like people were taking pity on you people were concerned people were maybe mocking you but it definitely didn't feel good. Let me tell you that. So I, I tried it once and I, I just kind of stopped. And then what I ended up doing going forward is like a, as like a middle ground, I did what they did. They kind of prescribed in the book where I just basically went and bought zero drop shoes. And the idea behind zero drop shoes is that they'd have zero drop. So the whole flat, the whole outsole would just be one level. There'd be no kind of like, it wouldn't sort of, you know, the height wouldn't go up around the hill like regular shoes would. And the idea behind that was that that would also kind of replicate the feeling of not having shoe, of not wearing shoes and kind of strengthen all the tenders in your in the soles of your feet. In the end, it worked because now when I run, I have no issues with, you know, um, tendonitis or whatever it's called. Is it t tendonitis? Is that what it's called? I think it's called tendonitis. I'm pretty sure. Is it tender? tendonitis yeah i have no issue with tendonitis on my foot um everything feels pretty cool and you know i don't really complain about that shit anymore so um big up um yay for kind of spearheading this movement and hopefully this is gonna be uh something that we'll see going forward but i also think it's something that you can only do when you're fucking rich and famous you know and there's something a bit different than about him stepping out of fucking balenciaga into a waiting uber um, barefooted than there is me going to my local office to buy a fucking magnum or something do you know what I mean it doesn't hit the same it doesn't hit the same you know I can pop out downstairs to go get a magnum or to go get a fucking Cronenberg or to go get some other drink a Calypso or some shit my bare feet and people will think I need help but if you're stepping out of Balenciaga having spent you know a hundred grand it probably hits a bit different no one really cares about it. especially if if you're followed by someone that looks like that coming out of the store as well do you know what I mean it kind of hits a bit different than what I was trying to do when I was out there but hey what can you do? Big up yay, big up yay.